So the Thor hammer that we have here used to have a button around here that um, that would turn it off and on, the electromagnet. But that wasn't really that good because if it wasn't concealed properly, people could touch it and all the voltage going through the little button wasn't necessarily great. So I want something that would be harder for someone else to control but still easily for me. So I thought to remote control it. So for the remote control aspect of it, I already installed a servo on it and the servo arm contacts the switch. So I just glued this into place. So the servos basically, I thought that would be the easiest because for someone who's a noob at electronics or a noob at just anything in general, servos are pretty easy because all you need is the battery, a controller, and it'll move the servo very accurately. Now this is great, but this is not remote controlled. So we're gonna have to replace the controller with an actual receiver. Now I bought this receiver off of uh, Hobby King and it's like six channels, so you can put as many as you want. This is for like an RC plane or anything. But I'm gonna try to use this for the hammer, but to go along with the receiver, you'd also need a controller. So I just bought this universal controller and this one, you can program it and everything will be great. So now we just need to figure out how we're gonna set all this thing up so that it actually works. Okay, so first as always, it's just the actual battery for the actual hammer. So we're gonna plug that in and let's get the metal, the metal thing, or the piece of metal. You can see that it is off right now. So I can lift it. But if I, as soon as I press this button, it locks on and then we have the grip onto the metal. So we're gonna turn that off. Now we need to get this um, receiver and battery all hooked up and attached to the servo. So for the battery, it just says over here, ground. There we go, and the LED light should turn on. The servo, I don't know which one to plug it into yet. So I'm gonna turn on my Okay, so as I went away to go to YouTube to just figure out how to bind this thing again, it binded. So now we have a receiver that is binded to the controller. So we're gonna attach the servo to one of these channels on here. And we're just gonna try to figure out on the controller which one it is. Ah, there we go. So apparently last slot in this um, receiver binds to this button over here. So right now the Thor hammer, because the servo got engaged, is holding this plate. Now all I need to do is just up down and it's off. There we go. So now we just need to shove all this inside with the casing, put the battery in, servo and everything. Holy. Put the case on. Somehow. And I added the magnets to the case so that it just makes magnetic ties. Throw it on, and there, boom. So I can pick it up right now. As soon as I press the button, it'll be stuck to the plate. So if you're trying to lift it up, um, hopefully you couldn't can't break it unless something else happened. Okay, so right now it is off. I can lift it up. Now I'm gonna turn it on. And let's see if I can lift it up. Yeah, absolutely not, but let's say someone else is far away with the remote control. I can lift it up, I put it down, they lock it, someone else tries to pick it up. No way. And that was a really quick video of just an update of where I'm at with this hammer. I'd love to make one actually out of metal, so it's a bit, uh, bit sturdier and stronger, but that might come a bit later. So just also here's where the servo is, it's just glued to the side of this button so that when it actually so when it engages the 
turn on my 